Welcome guys, my name is Ricardo Pereira and today I'm going to show you how to send emails with email connector. So don't leave and love in with me. So let's start by downloading two modules that are necessary and dependency of the email connector. So we can start by downloading module reflection. So if you go to the marketplace on the right side, Probably on the first page you will have the MX model reflection. Just click and click and download. Add as a new module and click import. Click OK. And we also need to download the encryption module. Click in download. Add as a new module. Click in import and press OK. Now it's necessary to insert a 32 characters encryption key. So we can go to settings, default configuration, constant, click in new, and here search for encryption key, double click, and we need to set a value, like I said, with 32 characters. And for that, we can go to a website to generate passwords. So here we can select 32 and we can also remove include symbols and click in generate. We are going to copy the first line and go back to the studio. In here you can just paste the string and click OK. So the default configuration is done. Now I'm going to show you what currently is on the project. So if I go to the domain model, you can see that I already have two entities, one called request, just with two attributes, one called name, another called status. And this status is dropped or submitted with the default value as draft. And the other entity is just a generalization of the file document from the system module. Both entities already have the access rules given. So as you can see, if I go also to the request entity, we are have here some permissions. And to connect both entities, we have one association, one to many, so one request to many files. I also have here a few pages, so a request overview page just with a data grid, and also a new edit page with a name, status, and a file dropper widget. You can also download it from the marketplace. If I double click on the file dropper widget, can see that I have as a file entity our file entity attribute name its name type attribute its name extension attribute is not necessary to insert and association to context I have file request slash email tutorial request in these options I have auto save and save method as a post. Now it's necessary to give some permissions to the user role. So we'll go to security, user roles, and go to the administrator or other role that you have. So double click, module rules, edit, go to the marketplace modules. And inside the encryption, you can just select user and also module reflection with module administrator. Now we have everything configured to install the email connector module. So go to the marketplace, search for email, select email connector, and click download. Add as a new module, click import, and continue.
we have a few errors in the console so it's regarding to uh, the widgets and just right click and click in update all widgets and here we also have another error regarding the token so double click and just select another page click ok go back select again the same page that was there and that's it now we can go to the navigation add a new item so the first will be model reflection click to show a page go to the marketplace model reflection use me and select mx objects overview click ok but before we can also select an icon so let's search for book double click and select ok now we can add another item for the email connector configuration so email and we can select as an icon also an email on click you can call a microflow go to the marketplace modules email connector use me microflows and select act email account launch email connector overview and click ok now we can go back to the security user roles administrator module roles edit and give permissions to the email connector module so email connector admin click ok and that's it so now we can execute the project and do the email connector configuration So we can click to view app, make the login with MX admin, click sign in, and here we can go to the model reflection and we can click to refresh. Here you can select the email tutorial, email connector, and also the MX reflection and click in refresh again. Now go to the email app, as you can see it starts a new uh, launch configuration. As you see at the beginning it's necessary to configure a 32 characters key and click in get start. So because we are doing this locally we need to emulate a CMTP server. So you can download this application called fake SCMTP. I can leave the link in the description so clicking download click here to download the latest version going uh, to say that is a potential risk of security but you can just per permit the, the download and here we can open we can open and extract to some folder Now, if you execute the application, you will see something like this window. We can just click in Start Server. It changed to Server Started, and we can go back to our Mendix uh, application. Use basic credentials. And as a display name, we can uh, say it's Mendix. Yeah. As an email, we can just write something. Me.com. 
and as a password we can also put something is not necessary to be the correct password click next now it says is not um, configured automatically so we can just click in ok click to send emails protocol we are going to select smtp server host write local host and server port it's 25 you can see the server port right here click in finish and the email was successfully added click ok now we can go to email templates and click to create a new one here as a template name we can write request admit from address and just use the same email Um, from name is not necessary and reply to it's also not necessary we can add just a to address and just copy the one above subject we can use the same name request submit and regarding the digital signature we are going to keep it as a no encryption no and regarding the HTML preview, we can just leave it as it is for now. So if we go to the section called placeholders and just select one entity, search for request, double click. If the request entity don't show up here, you need to go to the module reflection and select your main module with this entity and click to refresh. Now, if we go down, we can create some tokens. So click in new. Between the percentage symbol, we can write name for the name attributes. So select type attribute and just move a little bit to click in attributes and select name. Let's do the same for the status. Now, if we go back the HTML preview, we can write something like the request called and then just copy the token and place it in the HTML preview with the status and then do the same for the status was created. So this will be our template. So we can also go to the plain text and just copy from HTML text and then click in save. With the template created, we can go back to the studio. Go to the new edit page. On the save button, right click edit on click action and select call a microflow and here go to your folder called microflows and just create a new ACT microflow so ACT request save with email and click OK again OK and just right click on the save button and go to the microflow here we have as a parameter the request object. We can go to the toolbox, retrieve. As a source, we are going to select from database. And for the entity, you can search for templates. And select email templates. Range first, because we want just one object. And the template name is the same that we write on the email template inside the browser. So in our case, it's request submit. Make sure that it's correct. You can go to the browser and just copy this name. Okay. 
For the object name, we can keep just email template and click OK. Now go to the marketplace modules, email connector, go to use me, sample, and duplicate the first microflow. So sample ACT create email from template and then send, and just right click, duplicate. Go to the duplicate and move to our to our module to microflows and just place it in sub. Go to the microflow we just duplicated, right click and click to rename. So at the end remove the underscore two. And at the beginning, remove this sample underscore ACT and replace it for sub. Inside the sub microflow, we are going to change the email account as a data object or the request object. So go to email tutorial, request object. Make sure the name is request. And going back to the ACT, we can just drag and drop the sub to this microflow. Double click, it's necessary to fill these two arguments. So for the first one, it's request, and the email template, it's the object we just retrieved. Going back to the sub, so we can just double click in the, inside the Java action. We need to make sure that at the object it's the request and the email template the, the parameter of the email template object. So if everything is okay, you can just click OK. Because we don't have any attachment connected to our email template. So if we go, go back to the mail templates, we can see that we have an option to have an attachment. So every time we send an email, we'll send the same file that you uplo will upload here. So we don't want to have that option. We want to generate a new file every time, or in this case, retrieve the one that is connected with the request entity. So we are going to connect the attachment through the microflow. And for this, we are going to replace this association from the email template attachment email template with the one coming from the request entity so request file request and click in OK. Regarding this create action we can just remove because we are not going to create anything. Generate HTML we can also remove and add to list doesn't make sense because we don't have any new object to add to the list. And just move everything to be near the first actions. And going back to the ACT, we can also commit the request object. You can create some logic to make sure that the, the email is sent before we commit, but in this case, it's just a sample, so we can already commit. Select request, refresh in client, and also close the pop-up page. We can check we, that we have one error, so it's regarding adjust permissions. Go to properties, all of the rules and select the user. Now execute the project. Going back to the browser, we can go to the home page. We can create a new object called test. As a status, we can just keep it as draft. And here we are going to upload a new file. So upload the file and click in save. If we go back to the fake SMTP server, we can just double click and see that the email was sent and the tokens were uh, replaced with the correct information.
Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave the like and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.